how to connect your Shopify store to authorize.net. Today, I'm going to explore with you a couple of simple steps that you need to take in order to connect your authorize.net account to Shopify so you can avoid working with Shopify payments or Stripe or any other processor that you don't want to work with. My name is Maria Sparagas and I help thousands of seven and eight figure merchants figure out their payment processing so they are reliable and headache proof. Today, I really want to dig into authorize.net and how you can plug it into your Shopify payment store. Now, one thing to clarify is what is authorize.net? Many people who use Shopify are used to using Shopify payments, which is literally a direct plugin from your Shopify store. If Shopify payments is not a good solution for you, for example, if you are considered a high-risk merchant, you're selling any types of supplements, content, or digital marketing types products, or if you have any CBD products and so forth, you would be considered a high-risk merchant and working with Shopify payments is not an option. But you may want to keep your Shopify store. So what you can do is you can use a payment gateway like Authorize.net. Now, Authorize.net is simply a software. It's called a payment gateway. Now, this software can plug into thousands of different merchant processors. You don't actually have to work specifically with one. Most processors in the US integrate into Authorize.net. So it's really not a big deal. The most important part for you is really to figure out how to get a merchant account and who you want to work with to get a merchant account. Now, if you do need help with that, you can contact me. My company is called Direct Paynet and we help thousands of merchants figure out payment processing and get a merchant account easily and quickly. Now, the hardest part is actually getting yourself a merchant account. So if you reach out to me, what we have to do is we have to do an application in order to get you a merchant account. And regardless of who you work with, if you want a direct merchant account and you need to fill out an application, there are some checks and balances that need to be done in order to get you approved. So this works differently than what you're used to, for example, with Shopify payments or Stripe, where you're automatically approved. And now the big difference between these two systems is one is verified before you get started. One is verified after you get started. Now you're probably thinking, why would I want to do all these verifications and do an applications and so forth when I can just fill it in a form on Stripe or Shopify payments and I can get processing? Well, as I said earlier, if you're a high risk merchant or for example, you've been rejected by Stripe or Shopify payments, the best option for you is to get a merchant account. When we get you a merchant account, what happens is that we do all the verifications and once you're approved, there are no surprises. For example, I get emails and calls daily from people telling me they've been shut down with Stripe or Shopify payments, they've been working with them for a year or two, and then all of a sudden they get a notice that they've been shut down after a, view, a review of their account. So what they're doing is they're allowing you to get started, you're processing, things are rolling well, and then, for example, you get a few disputes or you try a new ticket size or your high ticket is now from a couple of hundred bucks to a couple of thousand bucks, and they just shut down your account because they don't understand your business. And then once they review your business, they're like, hey, we don't support that business. So getting a merchant account is a great option. And if you are working with Shopify payments or Stripe, you should at least get a backup merchant account should this happen. Now, getting back to authorize.net and how to plug it in, it's actually fairly simple. Once you have your merchant account, then it's just a little bit of technical work in order to get started. And you can probably do it in less than one hour. So it's very quick. Now, as I said, once you get approved for your merchant account, you have to advise your payment processor that you need to have it plugged into authorize.net because you would like to plug it into your Shopify store. And most payment processors will not have an issue with that as long as you explain that it is for Shopify and that's why you need it to be on authorize.net. So if you work with me, for example, at Direct Payment, we can even set you up the authorize.net account and get you a login and get you started. So what you have to do is you have to log into your Shopify store and then go into your settings and select payments. From the payments menu, then you have to choose authorize.net as your payment provider. Now this would be under third party provider because Shopify wants to box you into using Shopify payments. They don't make it super obvious in the settings that you can use, for example, authorize.net or another payment gateway. So you have to make sure that you choose the third party providers in order to be able to access the authorize.net option. Now, once you have that, you have to plug in a couple pieces of information 
from your authorized.net account. Now, what you're gonna need is your API login for authorized.net and your transaction key. So you can get these by logging into authorized.net, going into your settings, and you can actually just get that information and you plug it in to the payment options in Shopify for authorized.net. Now, the important thing that you need to do is to make sure that you try a test transaction. So you can actually toggle it into test mode and then try one test transaction to make sure that the connection is working. And once that's done, you're good to go. You can just go into live mode and you're ready to start processing. So it actually is super simple and even one hour would just be a lot of time to do this. Usually within 10 or 15 minutes, you can do it. But I say an hour to give yourself enough time to test and make sure things are working properly. And one thing to keep in mind is authorized.net is where you're going to see your transaction lists and you know everything that you need to manage your payment gateway. But ultimately for your month end statements and for chargeback reporting and for any type of accounting related matters, you need to contact your payment processor in order to get those reports. They usually have some other reporting platform that you need to log into. So these are important things to note is that you will have your Shopify login in order to obviously manage your store. You're going to have an authorized.net login, which will help you manage your transactions and your transaction flow. And then ultimately for your reporting in order to see disputes, chargebacks, refunds, um, how much you're paying for your merchant account and so forth, your payment processor is going to give you another login for a reporting platform. So it is literally that easy it takes a couple of steps and you can avoid using shopify payments and stripe and all the issues that come with using these types of processors by getting yourself a merchant account and plugging it into authorize.net if you need help with that you can contact me or a member of my team at direct payment we'd be happy to help you but i always like to give you options and to let you know that whether you work with direct payment or another company finding a solution outside of Shopify payments and Stripe is possible and authorized.net is your key. And it's super simple and easy to set up once you get your merchant account. If you have any questions or you're not sure how it all works, feel free to drop me a line down below. And don't forget to press that like button and leave me a comment if you like this episode and you found it helpful. Have yourself a great day.